Hello my dear students how are you all i hope all of you are so amazing today i'm just going to discuss with you about the international biology olympiad 2024 so let's start our session with a beautiful quotation that you cannot cross sea merely by standing and staring at water so that means you have to take action you cannot reach somewhere without taking a first step so you just start preparing for your exam from today itself and you will definitely get the result if you will do best your every day so let's start with the discussion i'm rajni mamgai and we are going to discuss about the ibo so this is the what so first slide is what about what is the international biology olympiad so we know that it's a global competition competition at the international level so it will be uh, so like many students around the world is participating in it and this competition is organized by the international biology biology olympiad committee which composed of represent from the participating countries right so which is having a lot of the students participating from various countries at international level so you are getting the recognition at the international level right so what is the aim of the competition why it's happening so the aim is to encourage the students to pursue their career in the life sciences researches and make the impact in the world plus it will be giving opportunity to meet and network with the other young biologists or talented biologists right so what is the in, uh, eligibility criteria so if you are if you are under the age of 20 uh, on this july 1st that means you can participate in the ibo but before that what is the education you can uh, participate if you are in the secondary or equivalent education institution citizenship so you should have the permanent resident of that country like so which is which you are representing at the international level next qualification so you should have the uh, you know national or the uh, regional selection rounds first so you are having the national level exam national level olympiad exams like in india we are having ncb in you uh, gulf countries we are having the olympiad qualifier biology olympiad qualifier exam so you have to appear for them first and lucky four to five students get chance so th those who get selected in these exams they represent their country at the ibo level right so national and regional selection round will be there as i have told you and uh, those students who qualified this national level exam then only they will be participate in the international competition and uh, registration once they are selected they can register for the ibo right so next is the with the help of their uh, you know national level olympiad exam so they need to do the travel uh, arrangements and they need to participate in the ibo exam and ibo exam has three levels one round is the theoretical exam other is the practical and other one is the group team work exam right so you are having the three levels in the ibo and this format uh, when we see the format of the ibo so they just actually check for your knowledge your critical thinking your problem solving abilities there right so this round conducted in several this you know exams conducted in several rounds so as i have told you that for ibo we are having the um, national level olympiad exam first you have to qualify it after that you are having theoretical exam you are having practical exam you are having team group exam right so this is basically um, the the pattern of exam and this is the um, uh, topics from which they although they don't have any defined iba doesn't have any defined uh, syllabus but these are the topics from which they ask many questions so i have written the percentage also right so they are asking question from cell biology 20% maximum weightage from this chapter plant anatomy physiology 15% anatomy physiology animal 25% ethology 5% genetics evolution 20% ecology 10% biosystematic 5% so which book which book you should refer when you are preparing for any olympiad exam so you are having your textbook your you know book that is provided by the school and other book you can refer is campbell so it is having a very very beautiful elaboration of all these chapters right so next is the um benefits so you are getting opportunity to meet and network with the talented people across the world you are getting the exposure to new ideas happening in the new ideas and perspective in life sciences you are getting chance to uh, show your knowledge and skills at the international level and you are uh, you know you have the potential to win the awards and recognition at 
at global level and plus you are having the opportunity to, to pursue your career in the life sciences researches and you can make the impact in the world, right? So these are the advantages of IBO. Then when we talk about the IBO syllabus, I have already told you, right? So, you know, this theoretical exam. So, you know, I have told you it is having three rounds. So in theoretical exam, they are asking questions from these chapters, cell biology, plant anatomy, animal anatomy, ethology, and they're asking you genetics and evolution, ecology and biosystematics. Then for the practical knowledge, for the practical exam, they are giving you topic from these topics, biochemistry, informatics, plant physio physiology, uh, zoology and biosynthesis. And when we talk about the group or teamwork, so you are having these, you have to prepare this research proposal. You will be, you have to choose one topic out of these topics, that is biomedicine, bionics and biomimicry across species, molecular and cell biology, bioinformatics and artificial intelligence. So you have to pick up one topic, you have to make your research proposal along the team, right? So you have to select your team and you will do the work on it, right? So these are the levels. So, you know, if you talk about the, if you talk about the IBO 2024, which will be held in the Kazakhstan this year, uh, from 7 to uh, 14th of the July, right? So now they have to announce the date from 7 to 14 all these things happen in every day as you can see here so these are the dates uh like happen so around one week so this happened till the one week where you actually get the chance to do all these things as you can see here next ibo participation fee so for four students who are selected in their national biology olympiad exam and plus the the two uh, zuri mem member they have to pay this much fee to participate in the IBO and these students, the participate in participate uh, in IBO student must have this eligibility. They must be pursuing class 12th, must have been selected for national Olympiad exam. They must be citizen of the India and I mean the participating country and they should have the valid passport also. So if you're having this all this qualification, you can represent your country at the international level, right? So next is the awards that you are getting there. So gold medal, silver medal, bronze, and then you are getting the certificate of merit. So this is what you are getting from the IBO. So if you think that you are you are the biology biology enthusiast or you are the biology or you know this wizard, so you can participate in your national level biology Olympiad and then all the best get selected in that exam this year and national biology olympiad also have different levels right so first of all they are giving you uh, like first level then after selecting uh, selecting in in that level they will be giving you the other level right so we also having two three rounds of uh, national biology olympiad and then they are preparing you for the international biology olympiad for some months and then they are sending you selected four to five kids there to represent their country so you will get to know a lot of the things you will get to learn a lot of things after giving this exam you will be trained such a way to represent your country at international level in the in some research center in india right or in your country in gulf countries right so that you can confidently participate in the biology and you we will get the chance to explore all the ideas perspective and the opportunities across the world so all the best kids i hope you like the video have a great day